looking ahead, Dirk, to possibly getting some rain. Oh, yeah, we have some hazy sunshine right now, but that's uh, uh, nothing compared to what's going to be coming. We're looking at some well, a little bit more significant changes than what we're used to with cloud cover, rain, wind also thrown in there. We're going to take a look at that in just a moment. Currently, though, it's 63 degrees and not much wind outside. Just that hazy sunshine that you were mentioning, Lisa. Southeast wind blowing at five miles per hour from Sacramento to Stockton, where it's currently 65 degrees outside. Now, last night it was wild. We were driving around at 7 30 in the evening, temperature of 67 degrees we still had at that point. This is just not your January, February type of weather that we've been having as of late, and that trend continues through today and on into tomorrow. We will see some changes, but mostly clear. We call it again just hazy with the southeast wind there at 13. We have southeast wind in Modesto currently at nine miles per hour. Current temperature, very mild, 66 degrees. Again, typically this time of year we see daytime high temperatures of about 60 degrees, but this is just our noontime temperature. Fairfield, a little bit cooler, 58 degrees. Degrees. Can we still have that haze? Maybe a little bit of fog here and there. Northeast wind blowing at nine miles per hour. It's those pockets where that colder air is that we still could see somehow or have some visibility problems. High clouds moving in across Lake Tahoe, 59 degrees with a southwest wind blowing at 18 miles per hour. So that's a good indicator of what's to come. We are going to have those winds picking up. Weather system bringing those high clouds across the area, giving us that uh, hazy, sunny look. You can see less cloud cover to the south, a little bit more to the north. That moisture is tapping into a Good stream of moisture that's a little bit farther south. That subtropical moisture is eventually going to make its way through, along with these weather systems that are stacking up. This initial band, not really going to do too much. It's just what's helping to push that ridge out of the way and making things a little bit more exciting as those initial waves come on through. So that's what's going to be taking place. As we make our way through your Thursday and into Friday. So here we are Thursday morning, 2 a.m. You can see the rain already along the northern coast of California. That stream of moisture, just think of it like a fire hose just squirting right across northern California. That's a lot of water coming down in a very short period of time. And that's still going to be the big concern with some possible localized flooding associated with that. Even though we're in a drought situation, when you get that much water coming down at a short period of time, you're going to have just the local storm drains that get overwhelmed by that. And so that could be an issue, especially in coastal areas. You can see through the northern end and Central portions of the Sacramento Valley that starts to sag farther south as we make our way through Friday night. We have that uh, again, that fire hose of water coming through right across Sacramento County and on into the Sierra I-80. We're going to see snow levels are pretty high. Don't see a whole lot of white showing up, so these snow levels more than likely are going to be at or above 7,000 feet, and that stream works its way farther south as we make our way into Saturday morning. So conditions as far as the winds are concerned, expect to have those winds picking up, especially as we make our way into Friday. So starting Friday, 10 a.m., strong winds. Winds upwards of 20 plus miles per hour. We're going to keep those winds through Friday and on into early Saturday morning before they start to decrease somewhat. Your Sierra weather expected temperatures are going to be ranging today with the, again the hazy high clouds. 59 degrees is what we're looking at for Thursday. We're looking at conditions 56 degrees. Then comes the rain, the snow, and the wind. Your seven day forecast looking forward to some uh, changes for the weather as we make our way through. Again, Thursday night into Friday, that chance for rain will be on the increase as well as the winds, Lisa. All right, Dirk.